Hey there, this is Akshay and welcome back to a new video. Till the last part, we have seen if else and ternary conditions, right? In this part, we are going to cover for loops, right? But don't just watch the video for a minute. In the last part, till the last part, you have to watch it because I'm going to use for loop to render a Flutter widget hundred times, right? I'm not going to just make this video on Dart Pad. I'm going to click on New Pad and I'm also going to use Flutter Pad for rendering a widget hundred times. So this is not just going to be a simple for loop video. I'm also going to use this for loop with Flutter also, right? In this video itself. So first of all, for those who are beginners and they don't know about for loop, let me explain you how how is the syntax of for loop in Dart and what is the significance of it, right? So assume that you have to do some task, let's say printing hello world five times. Okay. So I'm going to write a function, function, and I'm going to say print hello world okay and put a semicolon so this is one time this is going to pay, uh, print hello world one time right it's still running and hello world and I, now i want to print it five times that's fine not an issue right print it run it it's still running and you can see the output right but now my boss says print it a hundred times. I'm going to say, give me a day because I can't write print hundred times, right? So give me a day and I'm going to do it. But programming languages say, hey, are you a fool? You don't need to print this statement hundred times. Just use loops. So as the name defines, whenever you need to do something in a loop, that means again and again and again and again, again, you have to do the same task. Then you can use loops. We have for loop, we have while loop. We have do while loop also and we can see it later. But first of all, let's see the syntax of for loop in Dart. Right? So let me remove these statements. <laughs> right? Now, for for loop in Dart, you have to say for and you have to define an iterator. Iterator is a value that starts from the starting value and goes till the ending value. So here, as we want to print it 100 times, I'm going to say int i equal to let's say one i want to start from one go till 100 right now i less than equal to 100 that means i want to start from one this is the starting value this is the ending value and then you have to define the step and you can see in between we have semicolons right so as i want to start from one i want to go till 100 and i want to at every step what do you want to do i want to say i plus plus i plus plus and for every value, for every iterator value, I equal to 1, I equal to 2, I equal to 99, I equal to 100. What I want to do? Print hello world. Hello world. Put a semicolon. This statement is going to get executed a hundred times. Run it. It is going to take some time. And you can see hello world is printed a hundred times, right? So my work is done in few seconds I, I can show this work to my boss right so this was a simple for loop in dart right now how can you utilize this for loop with widgets in flutter we don't we are we are not concerned with printing a statement 100 times we have to execute or we have to render a widget 100 times that can be a case right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say new pad i'm going to go in flutter and i can see something over here i can run it and i can see the output so let's see the output first and you can see this hello world that's fine right so in the return i can see a text and this text is getting uh, rendered over here right and i want to like first of all get rid of this text and i want to say a column right so i know that you are not aware with flutter till if you are a beginner and you're just learning dart but I'm going to show you the use case of that Flutter with real widgets in Flutter because Dart you're learning for Flutter itself, right? So let me show you this and obviously you can uh, execute this in your future, right? In the column, we have children, right? And it takes a list. And let's say in this list, I have a container with some width as let's say 100 and height as let's say same 100 and we have color as colors.red. I am going to run it 
and i get this container now i want to see this container a hundred times right so you are not going to yes this container this co column takes children right so this you can consider hello world right and now you want to print this hello world a hundred times or you want to execute or render this container a hundred times you can actually control c control v a hundred times that's your choice but what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy or cut this container i'm going to remove uh, or not just remove i'm i've just cut that container and now i'm going to write a for loop for int i equal to 1 i less than equal to 100 and i plus plus and here we don't have to write this right with widgets we don't have to write this we just paste that container so basically this the line the the command which is just below this for loop it is going to get rendered a hundred times right just run it and let's see you can see it is rendered 100 times even the height is over right let me show you why is, is this a complete one container because we have not given a margin to my container so i'm going to give a margin to my container as constant edge in sets dot all 10 and just to remove this thing that it was saying hey your height is over i'm going to wrap this column in a single child scroll view or i'm going to make this column as a list view right and then run it and there will be a comma and then you can run it let's see the output you can see this is my container and yes there are certain conditions with list view we are not going to go into, into that that hey if my width was 100 but still it is giving me such a long uh, width that's fine we are going to see it in flutter but you can see 100 containers are now rendered so this was the application of for loop in flutter also so you have learned for loop now in the next part we are going to do the same thing with while loop so till the next part keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot